said this place was going to be crazy. Yep. More than crazy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Especially when Joe, especially when Joe hit that windmill. Um, man, I, I knew they was going to be out there going wild, and uh, I appreciate that. To be that in sync, everybody. Yeah. Uh, it was great, man. Um, shared the ball. We moved the ball. Made shots. Um, unselfish on the defensive end as well. Protect home court. How did it feel to be able to provide a spark like you did in your first game yeah. this year? Yeah. Uh, I felt good. Um, I say like a C. I give myself a C. Um, but I mean, it was just it just felt good to be out there with my teammates and yeah, we won. That's all that matters. We won. So I'll take that. Do you ever catch yourself being a spectator when Joel's doing some of the things he's doing? Yeah, man. I just, I'd be like, man, God damn, this dude, nice, bro. So, um, one dribble, one mill, that's tough in the game. That's that's tough to do, man. He's he's special, man. He's one of one. Special. What impressed you the most of, out of his stats? Um, I don't know what his stats, but uh, five block. Five block I, I was just about to say the defensive end. Um, and we know what he can do in offense. Uh, can't nobody f on him down there, but um, you know. You know, uh, Siakam tried to dunk on him. He blocks a shot, and um, you know that's great. That's an underrated part of his game. He's a, he's a great defender and a uh, shot blocker. What type of statement does it make that the Raptors really weren't even in this one? I mean, you guys had this one from start to finish. Uh, I think it was just to continue. Um, you know what we did in game two: be physical, defense, move the ball. That's the main thing. Just move the ball, share the ball, and uh, you know, play unselfish. Um, Protect our, protect our home court. Um, Got to do the same thing Sunday. How are you feeling about the way you Yeah, uh, a little sore. Uh, I'm going to ice it, ice it some more tonight. Um, come back, do some treatments tomorrow, get some shots up. Practice Friday, get ready to uh, practice Saturday, get ready for Sunday. Yeah, I thought um, we just got a lot of multiple efforts all over the court defensively. Um, then we got into pick and roll and was able to kind of um, – get to where we wanted to get, just got the ball moving and kind of just made plays from there. But I thought our defense and uh, the, the multiple efforts that we got from everybody on the floor was big for us in the fourth. How much fun were you guys having? Oh, we were having a lot of fun. I mean, you know, anytime you're in the playoffs and you're able to be um, in a game where you have a lead and kind of be the team that's uh, dictating the pace all game, that's a lot of fun to be a part of. I know that defense was the foundation again for this one, but tonight, uh, I thought that uh, offensively, we just, uh, you know, Joel had great energy to him. Uh, Jimmy was making big plays. We just got a great effort from, from everybody on the floor, and I thought uh, we did a good job of finding each other for open looks. And, um, you know, we expected each other to make those looks. So I thought overall offensively, we, we had uh, a lot of great actions. I think when we go and watch the film, we'll see a lot of extra plays being made, and that's a good sign and a good thing for, for our team. Yeah, of course. I mean, you know, he's uh, one of the, you know, if not the most dominant big in the game. And, um, you know, tonight he imposed his will, was able to make big plays, and um, was able to really frustrate the defense, their defense. Do you think he's being a spectator? Like, thinks he's doing? When he did that windmill dunk, I was on the bench at that time, but that was, that was crazy. That was uh, super impressive. So I was a spectator of that one. Yeah, we knew um, uh, they were going to make an adjustment and they were going to, um, you know, want to come in here and, and steal one on our court. But um, we just uh, we just fueled off each other, fueled off our crowd. It was, it was loud in there. They were excited. So um, they gave us a lot of energy. And, and every time we made great plays, we, we uh, did a great job of just picking each other up all game. Best ever, this, best ever so far in this series by this team. Most consistent ever both, on both sides this, this team tonight. Yeah, I would say so, and I think um, you know we we still got ways to go and can be better. Um, so we got to continue to keep pushing and be ready for next game. Was that the most that you have felt the the Philly crowd since you've been here? Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, the energy from the, from the jump was was uh, was crazy. You know, it was a it was a great uh, a great atmosphere and a, a great thing to be a part of. How does that just vibe into what you guys are doing out there? Like, how do you feel it? Uh, we just uh, fuel off it. We fuel off the energy, um, and it, it, it pushes us all night. Mm -hmm. um, I think everybody's just locked in right now. We, we know what it takes to get these wins. Um, obviously, the Raptors is a very talented team, well coached. Uh, a lot of respect to them, but it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a fight. It felt like in game two, it was the defense that kind of got you guys out. Mm -hmm. This one, it felt like it was the offense and the defense. Like, 
Um, it definitely helps when the offense is working, but defensively, I think we were locked in, and that's where it starts. How about the fact that, you know, all the starters are going for basically everybody was Yeah, I mean, everybody's a threat. Um, our chemistry's building over time. It's getting a lot better, and I think we're at a point where you know, we're kind of figuring it out. Um, but, you know, only places up, and I think we're just getting better. Yeah. Nothing's louder than Philly. <laughs> Nothing's louder than Philly. I've never played anywhere as loud as this, so it's a lot of love. Did that get you guys going? Oh, always, always. We love coming home to play here. The fans are amazing, even when they boo. <laughs> the fans were entertained. Were you even at times entertained watching, you know, Joe? Yeah, watching. I mean, we were just play, we were having fun out there, and sharing the ball, um, playing defense, you know, running. Uh, everyone was just enjoying the time, but. No, it only it only happens if you're playing defense and uh, everyone's locked in. So. Um, I think you know everybody knows what's going to take, and, and it starts on defense. You know, I go I go back to that, but that, that's where it really starts. Uh, when you have Joe blocking shots, um, guys run through screens, down for the ball, whatever it is, uh, it's the little things that count. You know, everybody can do. Oh, it's huge. Somebody who can knock down shots like that. I'm um, a physical defender. He's huge for us. And in terms of the defensive adjustments and kind of going back to a little bit of what we saw in game one, mm -hmm. how did you guys think that all played out? Um, I think it played out well. There's a few instances where we messed up, but it is going to happen. Uh, we just got to, you know, lower those chances of you know things happening.